For me, as soon as I saw what the units were going to be on the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest, well, I say upcoming, but, you know, it is live now. But when I saw that Evolution Blue Vegeta was on this Goku banner, I already knew what exactly it was that I was going to do before these banners go away, and that is to make sure I rainbow this monster right here. Evolution Blue Vegeta is, number one, an amazing unit, and number two, his team is amazing. The Pure Saiyan team, I would argue, is the most free-to-play friendly team in the game because it is the largest category in the game. It is definitely the easiest team to build, uh, you know, because you have tons of units of all of the major links. So a ton of over and a flash, shocking speed, and prepare for battle. So you can easily mix and match uh, with really little difficulty. And then this Vegeta having the turn a power link makes Ultra Instinct Goku a phenomenal unit for that team because he and Blue Vegeta share so much key having prepare for battle and tournament of power. And then plus UI Goku is also an over and a flash unit. So he'll help if you're running, say, I don't know, Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku or if you're running a uh, Super Saiyan God Goku or something along those lines, it's all going to really help. So let's go ahead and test out this absolute monster. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hop into an event with the Blue Vegeta on his own team, the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, I think you probably could get a similar attack stat for uh, Blue Vegeta on either the Realm of Gods team or on the Pure Saiyan team. Both teams he's going to look really good on because on the Realm of Gods team, uh, you can easily get a lot of Vegeta's... Uh, I was going to say his key links, but I meant like like his his key links as in like, you know, key in a door or like the key piece of the puzzle or something like that. Not actually key as an energy, right? Like uh, you can activate basically all of Vegeta's really important uh, attack links uh, on the Realm of Gods team with really, you know, any of the God Gokus or Tech Vegito Blue, anything like that. Uh, so like right here, uh, Blue Vegeta, let's... um. We're actually not going to get a Super Attack with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, just because I want to show this right here would be Blue Vegeta, uh, you know, in between Gogku and Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. If Super Saiyan 3 Bardock had his second part of his passive active, the support type part, it would look really good for Blue Vegeta. But here, this is with Vegeta with uh, Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, and Fierce Battle all active. Wait, Gogku does have... Yeah, yeah, he's got Warrior Gods. Okay, okay. For a second, I was like, wait, he does have Warrior Gods, right? Yeah, he does. Uh, so I was Vegeta with all three of those attack links active. Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, and Fierce Battle. Again, those are basically his main attack links. He does also have Prodigies, but usually it's going to be kind of wonky getting that one. I guess he could get that with Beerus on the Realm of Gods theme, but they're not <laughs> they're not going to share a lot of other links, right? So I, I certainly don't recommend it. Um, all right, so we're going to get Turles off rotation here. And I'm going to want Turles to go ahead and give his very nice attack buff to uh, my blue Vegeta, because, of course, mine is rainbowed, so we'll be able to see how good he could look there, right? Now, the other thing, too, about blue Vegeta is he does have the transformation mechanic where he does turn into evolution blue Vegeta, which, like, evolution blue Vegeta is a very good unit. Like, once he transforms, he's disgusting. Attack and defense 130%. He gets two additionals, which can't be crits, uh, and then each of those additionals is a chance, like a 10% chance to uh, perform a crit. Like basically, every single time Evolution Blue Vegeta attacks, he gets a 10% chance to do a crit. So, you know, if they're ever gonna really like lengthen these, uh, you know, boss fights or anything like that, like with these transforming cards, right? Like right now, it seems like you're not gonna be able to get these transformations to occur. Uh, very often you're not going to get to god goku or you know blue goku or you know golden frieza with their transformations because the fights aren't long enough well it's the same thing with blue vegeta right if you have blue vegeta and he's able to consistently get to that evolution blue form but not only get to the evolution blue form but then actually have a turn or two where he's able to take a lot of attacks at that point that you know he can get a 70 percent chance to crit just from his passive uh now normal blue vegeta before he actually does the transformation into evolution blue every time he attacks 
uh, he's raising his defense by 7%, uh, up to 70%. So after he gets uh, a number of attacks, what, 10 attacks, uh, he basically is going to have 130% defense and 120% attack, because 120% is what this Vegeta gets anyway. Uh, I really like the design of this unit. He does do a lot, and I really think, like, the way Vegeta fights, like, in the manga and the anime, that berserker, like, style that he does, like, it does kind of mesh well, I think, with him launching a, a lot of additional attacks. For me, personally, that does feel like that fits Vegeta's character, right? So, I do like that. All right, so here's where Evolution Blue Vegeta comes out. This is the friend Evolution Vegeta, though. Um, okay, so let me get the God Goku off rotation again. I also want to slow down. Hmm. Now, we're, we're going to end up just absolute peace in this Goku right here. Because uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta is a problem. Even like a, a non-duped out Evolution Blue Vegeta does insane damage and really gets those crits uh, to activate quite, uh, quite often. Uh, I'm actually, again... I would consider Blue Vegeta, like, he's among the very, very top tier uh, TUR units. It's always a big distinction you do have to make, though. The difference between LRs and non-LRs. Like, LRs are, like, you really have to compare them only to each other. Like, they're their own separate thing. Because the LRs, their stats are just so much higher than normal units outside of some uh, Extreme Z-Waken units that... It just makes, like, a lot of other units in the game not look as good by comparison. But, of course, you know, LRs are ridiculously hard to pull. So, that's why, like, okay, okay, this... Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is the turn that we're looking for right here. Okay, so... What we're gonna get here, we have Turles' passive active... And we also have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive active. So, Blue Vegeta here is getting a double 40% uh, attack buff. One from Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and then one also from Turles. So, Blue Vegeta is probably going to have a really nice attack stat right here. 1.5. Okay. You know what? I have seen that a lot higher on the Realm of God team. I've seen Vegeta get up to 1.8 on the Realm of God team. With God of Destruction Topo around. So it looks like the added uh, attack buff really does come into play. Uh, I want to give the... I, I want to give it one more turn before we finish up here. Because I want to see if my blue Vegeta uh, will go ahead and take his transformation uh, into the Evolution Blue. Now, in order for him to do his transformation, it's just a 30% chance from the fourth turn. Uh, so it's very easy to get the transformation to activate. Uh, like, when you run the pure Saiyan team, basically every single fight, one of the two blue Vegetas will actually transform. Another thing I do have to point out, too, is when blue Vegeta transforms, he has a different name. It's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta Evolved. So he can link up with his TUR version as well. We did not get the transformation. Okay. Uh, all right, so let me just tell you what. Here, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish up right here, uh, and then I I'm going to quickly hop into a battle with the Realm of Gods team and get Vegeta in, like, a really good setup. Because, again, I've seen just his attack power be very, very high on that Realm of Gods team, uh, even higher than what we're seeing right now on the Pure Saiyan team. Although, the Pure Saiyan team, it it's just... <laughs> It, it works very well. Like, it's a very cohesive team. You know, you could put pretty much any unit you want on here and actually have it, uh, like, work together and link together uh, very, very well. But, of course, it does only have the 130% attack buff, which is what's kind of uh, slowing Blue Vegeta's attack power down here on the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, but, you know, having units like Turles, uh, Great Ape Tora... Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, uh, or even the LR uh, category Super Battle Road, uh, Reward Goku. All of those can help mitigate that. Uh, also, by the way, I, I don't think it's uh, a stretch to say that a lot of people could have the category Super Battle Road uh, LR Goku, by the way. Because the 
Uh, Pichu Pichu Gal stage is incredibly easy to beat. Pretty much anyone can do it. So, uh, <laughs> like, really, oh, as well, okay. As long as you've got Kefla and Khalifa, you're good to go. Like, they can carry you through that Peppy Gal stage. It's not really that difficult at all. So, that's a really good thing. But, okay, so we finished this. Again, let me just quickly hop into a Realm of God team, uh, into an event with a Realm of God team, and show Blue Vegeta with that, you know, uh, very high attacks that I've seen him get. All right, guys, so here is the setup that does work very well for Blue Vegeta over on the Realm of God's team. Uh, linked up with Tech Vegito Blue, they're not great in terms of key links, of course, but they do have several different attack links. And then, of course, God of Destruction Topo is a very powerful support type unit for the Realm of God's team, uh, giving 35% attack. Yeah, so there it is. The 1.8 million attack step, which he can easily get on the Realm of God's team. The Realm of Gods team, by the way, like, <laughs> with some of these buffs, like, some of these recent units that have come out, like, particularly the batch of Jiren, Evolution Vegeta, and God of Destruction Topo, like, <laughs> the Realm of Gods team is just, it's beyond disgusting, right? Like, I, I would, for me, it's on the very short list of teams, uh, movie boss category team, Realm of Gods team, Android team. Uh, just a three off my top of my head that are like my favorite right now. Now, before we end the video, uh, let's quickly take a look at our boy Blue Vegeta, who again, I believe will be the next Dokkan Fest coming to Global Dokkan. So this is Accepted Pride, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. His leader skill is the Pure Saiyan Category Key 3, HP and Defense 170%, and then Attack 130%. So he is... The leader of the biggest category in the game which makes him an incredibly free to play friendly uh category leader the only thing is that blue vegeta and jiren banner was not great uh on gp and i would say chances are high that the banner is going to be the same uh on global as it was on jp a lot of people were holding out hope that ui goku or angel golden frieza would replace ultimate gohan on that banner but considering both of them were just in a dual dokkan fest for global it's not likely i would say his super attack is the gamma burst flash which does immense damage and great lowers defense passive skill stimulated pride is attack 120 percent defense 160 percent or no okay, excuse me excuse me attack 120 percent and defense 60 percent he launches two additionals which cannot be super attacks they're only just normal attacks uh, and then every attack Vegeta does gives him an additional 7% defense up to an additional 70%. So again, he could get up to 130% uh, defense. And then after uh, four turns, he has a 30% chance to transform into Evolution Blue Vegeta. His links are Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Warrior Gods, Prepare for Battle, Turn of Power, and Fierce Battle. I guess one thing I would say, I would really love... If Blue Vegeta had godly power instead of Prodigies, holy shit, would that be a huge buff for him? Because Prodigies is something I feel like you're not really gonna get ever. I mean, it's just Beerus units, really. But still, like, like it's just Prodigies is a is a bad link. I I think for the most part, you don't have units ever that are ever gonna share that link. Like, it's very difficult to get that link uh, consistently. But if he had godly power, like, you know, Jiren, UI, Goku, still with Beerus, like, all those units, it would have been so good. Uh, his 12 key multiplier, 150%. Uh, he does have four categories, and he's very good top tier option on all four. Uh, the Realm of Gods uh, category. He is also on the Universal Survival Art category, where he's, again, very, very good. Uh, he is also on the Pure Saiyan category. And last but not least, he is on the full power category. He also does have a fifth category coming very soon. The uh, representatives of Universe 7 for the LR Goku and Frieza card that is upcoming. That would make... I believe that would make Blue Vegeta the first unit that has five categories. I think so. Because I know like Angel Tech Goku's got four. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has four. I think Blue Vegeta will become the first unit with five categories. So, again, 
just gives this unit so much more value because you can use him literally everywhere. Because I don't know that the new transforming Goku will get representative Xenoverse 7, but I don't know. Then again, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Interesting to think about. Now, of course, he does transform in Evolution Blue Vegeta. The two things that change are his super attack goes to the final flash, which does immense and greatly lowers uh, defense. And then his passive is Consolidated Mind, which is attack and defense 130%. Then he launches two additionals, and each uh, attack gives him a 10% uh, chance to crit, up to a maximum of 70%. So if he attacks seven times, he has a 70% chance to crit from his passive, which is very, very impressive. All around, uh, Blue Vegeta is a very strong unit. Uh, I know why people are very excited for him on Global. He just is helpful in so many ways. I love these units that have a ton of categories because, like, no matter what, like, the way you've been pulling, chances are you'll have some sort of team or some sort of leader for these units. So very, very valuable. But that will do it for our boy Blue Vegeta. Thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.